All right, writing equations of parallel lines. This is probably one of the ones that I, I just put my head down because I wish my kids could do this a lot better. Uh, and it's probably one of the easiest things in the world for them to figure out, okay? Um, and, and here's why. You have a line right here that you're supposed to be parallel to, and then they give you equations that, that are supposed to be parallel to it, right? So the easiest way to do this stuff is literally graph everything and just look at it. And Desmos makes this way easier than a calculator would, okay? All we have to do is literally put in that first equation, y equals 1.2x plus 3.8, all right? And then I'm gonna put in my point. I know I said it before, uh, always put things into tables. This is the one time it's okay to put in a point, okay? Literally when I'm just checking one single point, I'll type in one single point. Um, the one thing I am kind of noticing is that the kids are, are kind of moving away from trying to put things into tables. So you might want to have them go ahead and just always put stuff in. So I'm going to kind of say push for tables big time. But here it's okay to put it in uh, as an ordered pair. Okay. So here we go. Um, I got that in. Now I'm just going to put in my answer choices. All right. So answer choice A, I'm going to type that one in first. And again, like I told you guys um, earlier, if you watched the previous videos, what I like to have my kids do is put in the answer choices like this. Uh, so that they know which ones they're putting in, right? You know they got to put in A, B, C, and D. And here's the thing. Uh, one of the ways I teach it with my kids is parallel means the, sl uh, the slope is the same, right? So what we can do is we can go ahead and eliminate answer choices, B and D, because the slopes are wrong, okay? Um, so B is not parallel, D is not parallel, all right? And this is exactly how I show my kids to do it use this to kind of eliminate answer choices and to keep track of it, right? So we're gonna put in answer choice A now because we know that could be parallel, or that is parallel, but let's see if it goes through the point uh, minus six. Uh, I gotta zoom in on it. And I'm gonna turn it on and off real quick just by clicking on that line right there. So I'm just turning it on and off real quick to see if it goes through the point, okay? Um, something else, some people don't quite know this. If you click on the wrench right up here and click on projector mode, it blows things up just a little bit bigger and makes it easier to see. I think I just turned it off. Yeah, there we go. All right, and so you see how it makes things just a little bit bigger and it's easier to see. I like doing that even if I'm on like a, a smaller screen or a bigger screen. Uh, it just makes things easier to see. So clearly we can see we go through the point right there. Um, and so this is probably going to be our answer. We're probably going to go with A, but let's go ahead and check C anyways. Y equals 1.2X plus 5. Uh, parallel like we knew it should have been but it does not go through the point point. Uh, and again we're only looking at these one at a time all right so we feel pretty confident A is the answer